Hello, road truckies. It's Jack with my 2016 Road Truck Simplicity Motorhome. I came across something interesting that I just wanted to share with you really quick. I've read a lot of problems that people are having with their AGM battery that comes with the Road Truck Simplicity and probably with the Zions too, where the battery is defective within a couple of weeks of ownership and they usually replace them under warranty. And I don't know how many of these batteries that Road Truck had to replace under warranty. I have my lithium batteries in here now, but when I first bought the motorhome, it came with the AGM battery, 100 amp AGM. And uh, one day, not too long after ownership, I uh, switched everything off because I was going to park it for a while at my house. And the next day I came out and I noticed my battery was dead. So trying to figure out why my battery was dead when nothing was running, I started looking around and I found out that even though the re switch over the door, the remote switch on the inverter was off, my inverter was on. And I was trying to figure out why that was happening. So I want to show you really quick. There's my inverter's on. I flipped the inverter switch off. And my inverter is off. I'm going to turn the inverter switch back on. The inverter came on, but I want to show you something that I discovered happened, and I don't know how exactly it happened, but this switch on the inverter box itself was in the wrong position. Now, because there was a cover across there, there was really no way I could have done that. I don't know, maybe it went over a bump and it flipped itself on, but it was in the on position, and what I discovered, when that is on the on position, as it is right now, If I turn off the inverter switch on the remote over the door, you can see my microwave still on. And you can see that the inverter is still on. Now this inverter is drawn 5 amps, just being here, not doing a thing. That's just its operational draw. And 5 amps, if I have a 100 amp battery, and I only have 50 amps really a usable power, you can understand in like 10 hours, that 50 amps is gone. In 20 hours, that battery is completely dead. And killing an AGM battery like that, once you might get away with it, you do it several times and you'll actually kill that AGM battery. And I think this is what's happening to all those Road Trek batteries that are, quote, defective. They're really not. It's just that that inverter got turned on and that caused this problem. So in order to solve that problem, you want to make sure that this is in the off position, that switch. And just to make it, make, just to make sure it's going to stay off, I put a piece of tape over it. Very simple fix, but I think that would solve the problem of so that switch getting kicked on inadvertently, which leaves the inverter on no matter what you do with the remote switch. Anyway, I just thought you might be interested in seeing that. I think most of these defective batteries are not defective. That's just my take on it. Thanks for watching.